Now normally we would do orange, white, and orange, green, white, pull this out, blue, and then blue, white, and then green, and then brown, white, and brown. And that would be a normal connection, or that would be if this cable were a straight through cable. But remember, we've got to cross them over. These two wires, orange, white, and orange, are transmit. This wire here, the green white, is received. And the solid green here on wire 6 is received. So those are the ones that we need to cross over. So again, in this example, the crossover, we're going to do green, white, and green instead of orange, white, and orange. So we'll move these over here. Move our green, white, and green where our orange, white, and orange was. And so our receive has become transmit. And now we're going to take our transmit and make it receive. So as where we had these two before, these two are. Now we've got orange, white, and blue. And then we'll have orange here. And let's move this guy over here. We'll go blue, blue, white and orange and let's do brown white brown pull this out a little bit and we want to trim these down about a quarter inch again I'm going to check green white green and then I have orange, white, green, white, green, orange, white here. Blue, blue, white, orange. So transmit is receive, receive is transmit, and then brown, white, and brown. Let's take my end. I want to insert it in my end. Holding it with my thumb, I'm going to press up and in. I want to get the jacket past that plastic tab, so it makes a good tight crimp there. It'll hold it in. Look on this side, make sure it's connecting with the metal pens. Look on this side, make sure it's connecting with the me metal pens there. Let's push past them. Make sure that on this side, from this perspective, that it's flush with the edge. And I'm going to hold it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my crimpers. I'll apply a little bit of pressure there until I can crimp down on those wires. So crimp down on those wires with the terminals there and then I'm going to give it a little more pressure not too much but enough you need to give it a good amount of pressure unless you have a, a nice set of crimpers which I don't have with a way to block so it's not here make sure it makes good contact and just you know, make sure it's nice and snug in there we try to pull it out so now you can see we have a crossover um, it's normal on one side and then transmit and receiver crossed over on the other side. And this would be a cable that you could use to connect ports of switches together in a wiring closet if you didn't have an uplink port or a port that canceled the crossover circuit. Let's go ahead and put it in our tester and see what that looks like. And, and in this case, three and six are crossed. And notice the crossover light comes on here. This is letting me know that I have a crossover cable. So, hit it again. And three and six are crossed. Thank you very much. And uh, this concludes our session for network media and uh, category 5B wearing.